All right, everyone, link in the description archived, of course. The number of tick-borne diseases is uh, rapidly increasing, and I've got an anecdotal experience with this myself. When I was a kid, I never saw a tick. Uh, they just weren't there. Around the time that I turned 15 or 16, thereabouts, I did get bitten by a tick, and uh, since then I've seen more and more and more of them. Now, the liberals out there, again, anti-scientific, are blaming climate change, saying, well, well, the northern hemisphere is getting warmer, therefore there are more ticks. This is wrong. Fundamentally speaking, it is wrong. What's really happening, I believe, is that the government is engineering sort of a tick-based program. And that's because of the actual specifications of Lyme disease and alpha-gal. Now, Lyme disease, of course, is a crippling ailment. Um, some celebrities have contracted it. Justin Bieber has Lyme disease, for example. Um, and it can be crippling. Uh, sometimes it doesn't really do anything. Sometimes it becomes chronic, and it becomes, you know, a person gets all messed up because uh, they can barely walk at some point. Alpha-gal is more interesting, though. Alpha-gal is a disease that is tick spread, generally, and uh, it actually makes you allergic to meat, mm, believe it or not. And most people have never even heard of this. The problem is that both of these tick-borne diseases appear to have originated from about the same area as a major biolab. Yeah. Um, it's just like with the COOF, so to speak. I have a feeling that these were introduced non-organically to the population. I have a feeling that these were introduced on purpose. So, one disease will cripple people and potentially kill them, usually not, but, you know, it's possible. The other one makes it so that they have to be vegetarians. What kind of agenda do you think uh, is involved with this? Uh, I'll leave it up to speculation, I suppose. Um, Tick-borne diseases, though, are becoming more prevalent. Again, when I was young, I had never even seen a tick until I was 15, 16. Now I've seen ticks all over the place. They seem to be multiplying. I have a feeling that there's some driving force behind this. I do not believe that this is a force of nature. Let's put it that way. Um, it's unfortunate, and unfortunately, if you're going to do bio-warfare, um, which I believe is involved with this, uh, that would be one good vector, because ticks are ubiquitous anyway. Uh, they weren't as common maybe 20 years ago, but they still were around, and they're very, very good at spreading toxins and so forth. As long as you infect them properly, uh, then you've got a good weapon, because uh, they'll just go out and they'll do their thing, uh, and... Uh, that's basically what happens. I have a feeling that the government is involved with these particular pathogens. I believe that the government is involved with creating them. I think that Lyme disease has been speculated for decades as having been created by the U.S. government. It makes sense. Um, considering the locale of its origin, yeah, it kind of makes sense. With regards to alpha-gal, if you had some sort of crazy liberal movement that wanted to make everyone vegetarian, that would be exactly the kind of pathogen that you would uh, generate within the population now, wouldn't it? That you would want the ticks to effectively inoculate people against eating meat. It's very, very intriguing. It's also exceptionally evil, but, you know, you know whatever. Um, 
I have a feeling that leftoids were involved with the development of both of these viruses and their deployment with regards to ticks. Just saying, it may be conspiratorial. You may think that I'm nuts. Well, I mean, I am, but, you know, that's beyond the point. I have a feeling that I'm right. That's about all. Peace out.